Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today we're going to be working with AI packages and what we're going to be doing, we're going to be figuring out how to get our NPCs to use a weapon or maybe magic to shoot at a target for whatever period of time you want. So, we are going to be working with a, a brand new NPC today and he's called Sammy the Stormcloak. Now, Sammy the Stormcloak, uh, we want him to go and shoot at this little target that we've got over here. It's just an archery target. It could be anything that you wanted. So, any object that you want, we're going to get him to, to stand over here and shoot at that target. Now, first off, Sammy's going to need to know uh, exactly what he's doing, where he's going, what he's shooting. So, to sort of specify where he's going to be standing, we're going to use an X marker heading. And to specify where he's aiming, we're going to use a normal X marker. Now you can do what the game does and point it at the actual archery target. Uh, yeah, that's usually done via a link reference and the package stating it. And you click on there and you go training target. This is how the game's done it. And for some reason it doesn't want to work. Uh, it just doesn't do anything. The character will end up standing there and doing sod all. Uh, which isn't good as you might imagine. So we're going to do it my way, which works, and it's a lot more specific and a lot nicer and easier to do. So we're going to put Sammy in the corner over here. First thing to mention is nav mesh. You have to have nav meshed the entire room, well, not the entire room, but you have to nav mesh everywhere that you need your NPC to go. And you also, just to be sure, you want to nav mesh under the target so that he understands that the target exists. It is on the map and he can aim at it. It's a bit stupid, but that seems to be the, ga the way the game can tend to work sometimes. As I understand, they don't have to have a specific bow or sword on them. But they, uh, it, it may spawn it itself if it's like he has to go up and hit it with a sword or he has to use a bow. The game usually gives it them anyway, it just dumps it in their inventory. But if it doesn't, then be sure that if you are specifying something which will make more sense in a moment, if you're specifying a certain bow or magic spell, then be sure to actually give the actor that item or, or spell. Otherwise, they're going to stand there thinking, what the hell am I meant to do? I haven't got what I need. So, without further ado, this is done with AI packages. Like I said, we're going to need a, an X marker. Now, if you just go under sort of world object static and type X marker, you'll get heading and X marker. So, whack the snap to grid on, move this over a bit, and we're going to stand him just there. So, be sure not to put too much of a distance on, as if it does go too far back and they are standing too far away, it might not work. So you've really just got to be careful with it. Now we want the X marker and we're going to put the X marker on the target. They're not actually all that accurate either with the X marker, but we'll see. We'll see how Sammy does. I'm going to put it there, just perfecting it. And just for now, I'm just going to tap one twice on the archery target to hide it, because we're not actually going to use that, and it'll be out of the way for when I select the X marker. So the next thing, you want to edit the base of your actor. In my case, it's Sammy the Stormcloak. I'm sorry, I love to say that name now. Right, um, so, we're going to go under AI Packages, we're going to alternate click, and we're going to add him a brand new one. I always like to just do a new, fresh package for everyone. There's no no problem with it. Save sort of having to just tweak default ones all the while. It's just nice and fresh. So, first thing you want to do is give it a unique ID. I'm going to call it a DF Package Sammy Training and yeah I'll leave it that uh, package template is what you want to go to next over on the right hand side and we are searching for use so as you can see you've got a few options you've got use magic use magic repeat use weapon and a few other use weapon ones now what you need to decide is are you going to have him shoot the target with magic or a bow or do you want to literally go up to the target and hit it if you want to go up the target and hit it then you may just uh, not need the X marker heading and you can just point at the target and say within a radius and they'll go up and hit it. That'll make more sense as we go along. We're going to get him to use a weapon, I think. I think we're going to use a weapon and we'll actually go in and give him that weapon to be sure that he uses it. So once you've selected that, you see that all the options in the public package data seem to change and they're a little more specific to what you need. Target to attack 
uh, use weapon location, weapon type, search for weapon. Search for weapon is like he'll actually search the area for a weapon uh, which he can use if he hasn't got it on him. So it's always nice to just stick the radius to about 1024, something like that. Uh, near self, leave it at that. So he'll look around, including on himself. And because we're going to put the weapon on him, he shouldn't have to go and find one. So weapon type, weapons any, now this is where it's quite interesting, click on there, it might take a little bit of time to load, it, it can usually. And under object type, you can select any, melee, non or ranged, or with the spells you can select something else and just ignore whatever else is in there, we don't need that. We're going to say weapons range because we want to stand over there and shoot a bow. So he's going to go for any bow that's in his inventory or anywhere near him and he's going to use that. Click OK. Use weapon location. Uh, this is where he's going to be standing. So we want to point our X marker heading near reference. Select reference. And just double click on that X marker. And just check that it does say X marker. Because if we actually... Sorry. If you accidentally go and click on something else. You might be trying to stand on the plant pot. And shoot something from there. Which isn't good. So we'll click OK. Radius is usually okay for about 32. I set mine to 20 because I'm picky. Uh, target to attack. This is where it's interesting. This is obviously going to be the X marker heading. Specific reference. Sometimes it takes a little while to let you actually do that. And then we want to double click on our X marker. Check it's the X marker again. Click OK. There we go. Now you can really leave most of the rest. But a few interesting things that you can change. Do no damage, this is like because he's going to be training, he's not going to be doing any damage, meaning if you got in the way accidentally and he's still shot because he didn't care about you, then it shouldn't hurt you and it, it shouldn't do anything to the target. And there are a few options, you can play around with them, but some, some of the ones that I am going to mention are here somewhere. Where's the attack target? It's sort of like, there we go, uh, pause between barrages, this is like um, how long he's going to wait after he's, he's fired, like he's just going to have a little pause, we'll just try ticking that, see what that does. I'm sure there's a more specific one usually. Aim only, don't fire, that's interesting, usually false. Loads of, uh, loads of things that you can mess around with, see what, what happens. Uh, in this case, pause between barrages should be okay. What we'll do is we'll, we'll just quickly make another package but not actually keep it on him. And we'll just check out sort of uh, the magic because the magic has an interesting option on it. Flag's always nice with, with packages. I have got a package tutorial if you want to go check that out and get a bit more detail about everything. I think I mentioned everything. Uh, we're going to say that we want him to prefer walk. We want his weapon drawn. And we don't want him to say hello to the player. Have random conversations. Don't want him to observe combat behaviour, say hi to corpses. Don't want him to react to the player. Uh, because otherwise every time you walk near him he's going to stop doing what he's doing and it's just going to piss everybody off. So there we go. Conditions we're not going to worry about. Schedule, I'm going to leave this all time round because I don't want to go into the game and then have to wait for hours or start mucking about with the time to try and uh, get to see him actually perform the action. We just want to see that he's doing it. Don't have to worry about any of the rest. But if you if you do want to set it, then you can set a set schedule. Obviously, you usually would for training. You'd want him to do things between certain times. So we're going to leave it at that. Go ahead and click OK. And uh, we'll just go back in. Actually, I, I did say that we'd uh, we give him a weapon. We're going to want him to have a bow because he's got a steel war hammer at the moment. Oh, that wouldn't do what I want, would it? I've actually given him a battle axe. Uh, go for longbow, as I know that's his longbow. Don't know what they've called steel. Okay, so there we go. He's got a longbow, so he won't have to look far and wide for anything. Not that he's got much choice around him. And if we go in game, he should now be aiming at that X marker, which is actually, it will look more like he's shooting the archery target. So he should be shooting that with his arrows. That's the point. We'll just give him some arrows because. Like I said, the game can be a bit of an ass. Usually it does just hand stuff out anyway, but we'll give him 100 arrows. There we go. So we're just going to go in game and see that he's shooting at that target. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, Sammy is firing at his target. And you can mess around with the packages to get him to do other things like pause and stuff. 
Uh, the, the pause between barrages didn't seem to do it. And if you just look at the bottom right of the screen, uh, I'm just showing what I had to change to get him to actually work. Because uh, when I came in, he was just standing there. You have to just adjust the range up a little, uh, depending on how far he is from the target. Otherwise, he won't actually shoot at it. We're just going to go back in the kit now, and we are going to look at getting Sammy to actually use a firebolt spell instead and shoot at the target. Okay, so what we're going to want to do, we're going to go back onto Sammy, edit, go into his package, and we're going to change the package template to use magic. Actually, I'm going to put this to use magic repeat, so he just keeps repeating the process. Uh, the self radius says 500. Uh, we'll just change that back to, to 1020. 1024 and spells range target you can do range target so we'll use any spells but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this damn headset somewhere out of my damn way because it's really doing my head in right I'm going to put uh, firebolt in the filter go into the object type firebolt again because it's only narrowed it down and I'm going to select firebolt uh, there's two there I usually select the top one don't know why there's two a bit strange but anyway click OK and instead of link reference to the target we're going to point directly at our X marker again it might take a little while now this is where you do have some interesting options uh, cast time uh, cooldown time cooldown time I think is actually uh, getting him to pause a little in between so we'll say four seconds see if that works and the maximum five let's just see if that works it may it may not a uh, dual cast you can actually get him to sort of uh, use dual cast so he'll use obviously both hands and do a, a powerful attack or if we just leave that as false he'll just do a, a single uh, fireball shot so what I'm also going to do I'm just edited that package now click OK I'm going to go back in. I'm just going to go into his spell list and make sure that he actually has the spell for that. So, Firebolt. Okay, there we go. And we'll just go into his traits or stats even and make sure he's got enough Majika to do that. So, I'm just going to offset his Majika so he can actually fire. Okay, okay, so you really do have to take things into consideration. If they are far enough magic, then they need to have enough Majika to do that. So I'm just going to save that. So now we've just adjusted that slightly. He should now be doing uh, the same thing, but firing a magic firebolt instead. So we'll hop in game, and that should be working. Okay, so as you can see, he's actually not standing where he's supposed to be, which is where I'm standing. I think I forgot to set that. But uh, that's a, a good example of how the packages work. If you don't specify, then he'll just uh, he'll fire from wherever he's standing. So you could actually stand in here and in the fire from his, his default editor location. So uh, we're just going to get rid of him out of the way a minute, so I can hear myself think. Now um, this is going to be a resource as usual now, available over on my website. And if you want to make your way here, then you go into your console command at your main menu or wherever you may be and COC DF 127 test cell uh, make sure you don't have all my resources activated when you do that otherwise it's going to pick one at random because they all name the same cell to make things a little simpler so you just activate the resource that you want after you've downloaded it from the website and then nip in and you, you can go in there or you can even open it in the creation kit take a look at how I've done things so I want to thank you very much for watching I hope you did find this tutorial really useful it's a, it's a nice weird one something uh, different because I have been doing sort of a scripting and a few other things I will be making more creation kit tutorials I also want to give a little shout out to Joe boy he's on my my main channel you'll see a, a link to his channel I want you to go and check his channel out give him a subscribe button if you like his videos he does a bit of Metal Gear stuff uh, WWE load of let's play videos with a bit of commentary so go check that out Check out my main website and my anti-social websites, all the usual links, and that is about it from me. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.